Welcome to Area S. S as in Sweden. You have seen a cat? You, or a cat? Our cat? <laughs> a lot lately, I guess. <laughs> yeah, and he won't disappear. Mm, I mean, we could close the doors, but we don't really want to do that every time. No. It's lovely. Yeah. So, Christmas is getting nearer. Yeah. And what? A thing around Christmas is that all the Christmas candy comes to the store and every other stuff Christmas. Yeah, Christmas editions of everything. Yeah, and to be fair, it starts in September often. <laughs> yeah. The first store I ever worked for, the last of September every year, our Swedish Christmas soda. You must, every time, every year, the last of September, we always get that. You must. Yeah. Soda. Oh. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> you have to tell it. And then week after week until Christmas. Yeah, they come the something, something yeah. new. Uh, of, yeah, I mean, it doesn't have to be new, it can be the old stuff returning. Because yeah. we have a few stuff that are limited just during Christmas time. Yeah. I mean, first, not the Christmas soda you can get under Easter too, but then it's Easter soda. But, uh, yeah. But just like during the fall, everything pumpkin spice. Well, now, not now, Sweden, but no, but now during Christmas, everything is it's peppermint, it's apple and cinnamon, it's gingerbread, yeah, it's those and the Christmas cheese and yeah, uh, the clement, cle clementines, yeah, I think yeah. it's clementine, yeah. Least. So, um, we have we have a selection here of. Both new stuff here in Sweden this year, and also a few stuff that has been around for a while. That are winter limited. Yeah, that we have never tried. Yeah. So Except one, the chips I have tried before. Yeah. But they are limited only at Christmas time, and they are made with uh, Christmas, cheese. Christmas cheese. So should we start with that one maybe? Yeah, why not, in the bag. They don't smell too much. No, it's just like a regular potato chip, you know. With some hint of cheese flavor. Yeah. I would say it's a it's a salted potato chip with some little hint of cheese. Yeah. It's not bad. No, those will go down. Yeah, those will go down. I mean, the bag will be eaten up for sure. What else do we have? We have a lot more. <laughs> <coughs> so carry on with the taste test. Yeah, let's let's just grab something. It's fika type. Yeah, and this is new for this year. Yeah, those are snowballs. With so they are like they are a ball. <laughs> yeah, they're, they're gingerbread flavor. Yeah, and then they have the coconut shredding, and I think they dipped in some white chocolate. Yeah, white chocolate and coconut shavings. Those are like our traditional chocolate balls. Yeah. But white chocolate. But the Christmas edition. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Yeah, they smell like gingerbread cookie. Mm. Uh, the soft. I mean, the design of the box is pretty nice to have some Christmas. Yeah, some stuff. wintery stuff. Some wintery stuff. Yeah, it's matching here. So hard. I don't know. I uh, I I used to like you know the, the soft gingerbread cookie. You know, the mm. cake, yeah, but. Mm, or a sponge cake that little bit. Yeah, with the gingerbread. This is more like they have taken raw, if you, you know, the the, 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 dough. the dough you can buy, put it in the bowl, had it cooler, and, and dipped in chocolate. That's what it tastes like. Yeah. But you have some else consistency when you're chewing it, but that's what it tastes like. Yeah. Well, I'm not that fond of raw gingerbread cookie dough. 
I mean, it's not what I've done, but it's, it's what it tastes like. Yeah. Wait. I mean, it will go down, it's not that. But it's not my favorite. No. To be fair, many of the stuff we have here is gingerbread flavor. <laughs> Seems to be the, 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 the tradition when it comes to Christmas. And, yeah. And we have a plate here because we have some ice cream too, and we have also some uh, joggers. But we got, we're getting to those. Um, um, you take a new, I take an old one then. And, uh, well, I'm gonna take all of these free bags. <coughs> you hold one, I hold them all. So this is um, gingerbread covered in white chocolate, in milk chocolate, and... Those are chocolate covered knet? Yeah, uh, our Swedish, uh, well, it's a toffee kind. Yeah, a you chewy, know? hard thingy. Yeah, and you can bring the bag over there and show the, how it usually looks. I'm trying to figure out where we put the, There it is. <laughs> okay, so this is what it usually looks like. It's like a mini muffin <coughs> cup. Yeah. With this hard, hard toffee-ish. Yeah. Knick, 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 Toffee, a taffy? This yeah. translating too, so. Oh. Yeah. Don't chew, don't chew on them, they're not really, they stick in your teeth. Yeah, and I still got kind of razors left in my mouth from when I was young, so. No, yeah. thank you for that. But let's. They are big or small? I want the small. <coughs> yeah, those are. <coughs> size comparison. Not, not a consistent. No, taste. worry not. I'm gonna take a small one too. This is so. This is the white covered gingerbread cookie ball. It's a, it's a hard gingerbread. Yeah. It's more like a cookie consistency, mm. but then the soft white chocolate. But the white chocolate, I think it's, I think it's too thick. It's too much. Yeah, I would, I would, I would say that too. But it's more like a baked gingerbread flavor. Yeah. So let's go with the milk chocolate one. Then I only say chocolate dipped, but it looks like they are only milk chocolate. Your milk chocolate, yeah. There's a little more consistency in the shape in the shaping. There we go. Let's see how this would be. Hmm. Not so sweet as the white chocolate. No, the white chocolate is often sweet. Yeah, those are okay. Yeah. A very hard cookie bit. But I like it. Mm. It's okay. I prefer a regular uni bread cookie. Yeah. And then this, the taffy one. And yes, for your OCD people, I have to open them that way because they will not open. Well, okay, then we'll open on top. <laughs> <laughs> oh, they're pretty, because it's they're a little more flat. Yeah, and a bit, bit more rough in the... But texture. to make a taffy, you need to melt the sugar and everything on the stove, so it makes sense it's more flat. Yeah. It's a hard taffy. The same consistency as the gingerbread. Yeah. And I can. There's not much flavor. No. More chocolate than. There is crunch and chocolate, but there you can't really feel the flavor of. The taffy, you no. Know? No. It's an okay little treat. Mm. I mean, they have been around for years and they sell so around Christmas, but probably never nothing I would ever pick up again, I guess. No. Yeah, not, not favorite. Should we go with a drink, maybe? Yeah. But I want to take it last. 
Yeah. Because th that, this is a more traditional Christmas soda, but it's a new one, so yeah. Yeah. But we have two other ones that is um, strange. One is gingerbread, the other one is um, mint flavored, so to speak. Yeah, candy cane. Yeah, yeah. One is with alcohol, one is out. But you you can you could buy both with alcohol too. I should admit. I think we should get the gingerbread off our hands. That's probably worse. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. Here in Sweden, we when we want to buy beverage that have alcohol in it over a certain percentage, often like wine or pure booze or everything over three, three and a half percent. We need to go to a special shop. Yeah. I went there one day because we said, oh, we're gonna have some ciders to split on a, on a Saturday night. I mean, we don't often drink, I don't, we don't. No. I will say, say that you should drink either because it, it talk about that in another episode, but yeah. <clears throat> yeah. <clears throat> um, this is uh, ginger. <laughs> you do it, I can't. This is so strange. <laughs> Well, let's see here. This is pear cider with gingerbread flavor. <laughs> and four and a half percent alcohol. <laughs> <laughs> this is probably the, this is probably the strangest thing we have on the table, I would guess. Yeah, I don't I don't know how well. Those first of two all, apples and gingerbread, but then as a drink. Gingerbread as a drink. I, I I'm not too sure. No, I'm confused. The mint can work better, but you don't like mint. But um... no, but this is. Mm. And this is something that we, uh, I would say it's new for this year. I'm not sure. I haven't seen it before. So I guess it's a new one. But yeah. You smell the pear. You smell the alcohol. You don't smell. Really smell the ginger. Little hint. Not much. Oh, well, there is a little hint on you know what? You know what the, it kind of tastes like? No, what? Glug. Glug. Because of the alcohol. I don't know if any... And the fruitiness. Yeah, and the fruitiness. Um, I don't... I, <laughs> Let me check it out. You can explain glug. Well, glug is like... Warm wine -ish. Yeah. Um, and then you put some almonds and raisins in it and you drink it you know you you mingle before <coughs> the christmas uh, glug vin glug glog well with the yeah yeah <laughs> mulled mulled wine served with raisins and almonds yeah and your mother split it with uh, captain morgan <laughs> <laughs> all the time I, but these kind of have that similar taste because of the alcohol well, I, I I usually don't drink the glug, so I can't really tell, to be honest. I mean, just because it have the pear in it and the uh, ginger, it could you could serve the top and well, the only thing it have that the glug doesn't have is a carbonation, of course. I couldn't say I hate it, but you don't like it. But I sh will not drink it. I mean. Not because it's alcohol, but because it has this the mulled wine taste. Yeah. And for me, I don't drink a lot of that. No. I mean, <laughs> I drank it with your mother's everything. That was good. So, no, that was that was really weird, weird. to try. Yeah. Okay. So that was probably a news for this year, I guess. Let's go with uh, something that is an oldie then. A yeah. chocolate bar. <laughs> A limited, uh, winter limited, I would say. Made in Sweden. This has uh, apples and uh, cinnamon in it. And this is the Marabou milk chocolate. Yeah, and when you read the back, it says milk chocolate with pieces of apple uh, 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 smush or something, I mean, translation, and pieces of uh, cinnamon cakes, cakes uh, cookies. So, <laughs> so um, yeah. These have also been around for a while. Never picked it up before. No, but this was th this year. It was, yeah, we we had to do it. Now. Yeah, I mean next year we're gonna do this too, but we are going to do only the news. Yeah. It's 
It's it's you, you can see some bits. Smell it. Oh. It has some strong flavor. It smells weird. I want lots of flavor. A very apple-ish in the mm. smell. Well, this is a good chocolate. If it's good with the inside, let's find out. Well, I like this one. Good because I need. Well, I don't like apple pie. Sorry to say, but. But, but I like it. You know when you take an apple and slice it up and put it in tin foil and sprinkle some chocolate on on it and then put it put it on the fire. No, I mean, no. That, that's what I, I feel. I don't. Yeah, I don't even taste the cinnamon. I just t taste the apple flavor, and it's, and it's like you take those apple chips you can buy, you can dried apples. You know, it has that flavor. I don't like it. It's not for me. It's not for me. But to be fair, the apple has some kind of a little bit shampoo-ish uh, fruitiness, I would say. Yeah. I still like it, but it's a weird in-between. Mm -hmm. Not good, not good. <clears throat> it's an okay one. Yeah. We should have mentioned this is the stuff you would buy here in Sweden. This is, this is all Swedish brands. I think even this one is. Yeah, Sweden. <laughs> so. So. Well, sh should we maybe take this one? Yeah, this. I mean, <clears throat> this is a bag of Polly. <coughs> and what exactly is a Polly? It is um, uh, la, uh, marshmallow fluff covered in chocolate. Yeah. And it can have different tastes. They have one. They have one regular. With this just white marshmallow flush, basically. Yeah. And uh, one with dark chocolate and milk chocolate mixed, and one with only milk chocolate. And then they have um, Algren Spilar, Swedish Muscle Cars flavored ones. And they have some other, other ones. They have licorice too. This is the winter edition. It's also been around for many years. And this was a big bag. We couldn't get a small. <laughs> yeah. So they are, they are free um, flavors in this one. Uh, cinnamon, uh, no, uh, gingerbread cookie, <laughs> but it's cinnamon in that one, yeah. Uh, clementine and uh, Christmas taffy. So, so one each, I guess? One each, wow, 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 look at those colors. I will give you one of each and you can show one for the camera. Yes. The clementine, so... you really know which one that is. Wow, yeah, one is very dark, almost black. and. It's... I guess the clementine is the one that is, it's, it's pumpkin orange yeah. in the color. And the black one is uh, dark chocolate, I guess. Yeah. There is, I mean, there is pictures, but there is no who is who, but we, we I'm gonna, I'm gonna guess that, well, we have, we take, we take the one we know, the clementine, okay? Yeah. Uh, soft, soft. Mm. White on the inside. <laughs> you can't bite them. I mean, there's the orange. Oh, not the orange flavor, but the clementine flavor. Yeah. But it's candy, so it's the orange flavor. Let's go with that. Well, it's a bit messy, yeah. I don't like soft candy. <laughs> and I don't like superficial candy most of the time. I mean, it's not bad. It's not a favorite. No. Okay, black or brown? Or dark brown or light brown? Well, we, let's go with the dark one. Let's see which one this is. That's some dark taffy. Whoa! Almost coffee like. Mm -hmm. I mean, they have no. the same fluff inside of them. Because it's just um, flavor ish on the outside. Well, the marshmallow fluff is not for me. Unfortunately, we have one left. Mm. <coughs> Probably the gingerbread. No, this must have been taffy. Yeah, probably, but then it was a burnt gingerbread cookie. Yeah. Will we buy again? No. No. Will your work comrades be happy? Yes, they will. <laughs> yeah, those will be gone by the end of tomorrow. Yeah, <laughs> because we don't want to waste it, and if we don't gonna eat it, she usually brings it to her work. Yeah, and they will eat it happily. Hmm. Well, we're moving into better territory as we go here, so I think um, 
Are you agreeing? Yeah. The candy cane soda. This is without alcohol. You could you could get this with alcohol too, and I I, I regret I didn't buy it because I really wanted to try it. Now when we try the other one, but yeah. Whoa! Someone has really taken the candy canes and dipped them in there. <laughs> you could start. You don't like it, so. Oh, it's like if uh, Santa would pee. <laughs> Probably a reindeer, but okay. <laughs> Just a little sap. <laughs> she has problem brushing her teeth, so. <laughs> I love the candy cane, but what? this is mouthwash. <laughs> this is too strong. <laughs> this is like swallowing. This is mouth. mouth yeah, this, <laughs> that's like going to the dentist. <laughs> yeah, this is mouth mouthwash. <laughs> So if you would have bought the alcohol would... one, then it would probably be 100. This is this is only 50 percent mouthwash. If I buy it with alcohol, <laughs> it's gonna be 100 percent mouthwash. Sorry if I can't speak properly. No, the, the, maybe it's too much sugar in okay. all of this. <laughs> yeah, let's go with the yield scum. Mm, the last candy we have on the on the table. <clears throat> this is. This brand does this every year. They have the regular ones. Yeah, which are more like what is it? Is it the strawberry yeah, flavor? Strawberry, so they're white and red. Yeah. I mean, you, you can buy these big boxes and uh, the bags. I usually buy one big big box and some kind of bags, and then I'm full for the rest of the year. <laughs> yeah, but they're like marshmallow-ish. Yeah. Candy. Yeah, foam candy, so to speak. Yeah. And every year they have a new flavor, only for that year, never to return, so far. And I've had a lot of mix. This one is Xmas Cola. Make a wish upon a star. Yule Scum Cola has the greatest flavor by far. Not sponsored by any one of these companies. No. I wish not to be maker. And some of these bags are... There we go. Can we split it? No. Oh, they have a they have the the cola, the candy cola smell to it. So it, you see, it's like Santa Claus, and they always have the white beard, and then they have the rest. Um, and in what the, the color yeah. they use? So these are dirty, I would say. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, th those are kind of beige. Yeah. Bite his head off. I will take half of this. Half of this. Ah! I mean, it tastes like cola. Yeah, the candy cola. Mm. It doesn't really fit with what it's supposed to be. Not really. But it is okay. It's okay. Well, I will pass on that one. Yeah, but you don't like those kind of candies. That's why. No, I don't like candy at all. You like chocolate. It's chocolate candy. is not candy. Comment down below. Chocolate is not candy. Chocolate is chocolate. Hello, cat. Second cat joining us today. No, you don't want that. <laughs> She's smelling the polka one. You don't really want that. She's not as weird as that one. So. No. Should oh, we? Should we go with the cold ones before they melt? Maybe that. Yeah. And I think we should do them back to back. <laughs> Maybe we should take a little break and um, remove a cat before we do that. Yeah, I think that would be great. Okay, so the, the cat is out. Well, out of the kitchen. Yeah. <clears throat> so we have two ice creams. Yeah. And this I think I can use for both of them. Yeah. So the first. Because you haven't seen that one before. No. That's the brand you usually eat. Yeah, this is the Utto and the glass factory. And the, Yeah. And uh, yeah, this is gingerbread cookie. Uh, vanilla ice cream with chocolate dripple and toffee bits with the flavor of gingerbread cookie. Could be nice, could be nice. That, that, that's a mouthful. And this one is Sia. And this is the, this year's flavor. There, we do that. Yeah, that's and even weirder. It's called 
Santa ice cream. Gingerbread cookie house. <laughs> that is this is really weird. Yeah. I mean you can just see the label here, you know. I mean Yeah. It's well Let's open it so we can have. Yeah, it has those candy bits. Yeah, those uh, smarties or M and M's and why not? So we're gonna try them back to back here and see and decide which one is the best. Yeah. So this is more plain gingerbread. This is a little more. So which one do you want to start with? I like Uto. And there is a bit of something there. Spencing the bread. Yeah. But it it has a good gingerbread flavor. Mm -hmm. Although I'm not sure that it's my personal taste. No, I mean gingerbread. I want the hard cookies. Yeah. Or maybe a soft one. That's what I prefer. You know. Sometimes the what's it, the flavor doesn't go with the texture. Yeah, exactly. And we have tried some variants of that before. Yeah. Let's go with the other one, shall we? Yeah. I'm gonna have a blue blob here. Oh wow! Did this have sh wow? This have chunks of gingerbread. It's like you're taking the house and you demolish it and mush it into the ice cream. <laughs> yeah. But it has not that much smell to it. The pieces are like mush gingerbread. It's not good. I mean, I love to dip my gingerbread cookies in milk, but only for a brief second or two. If you hold them in too long, it's gonna be mush. That's what really well, works. Well, I like the crunch of the M&M's. Well, but it's not M&M's, but... No, but the, the kind of thing is chocolate lentils. Yeah. But... Um, but chocolate lentils as well. Yeah. But I prefer, I prefer Otto. Yeah, over over this two ice creams, the Otto Otto win. Yeah, it has more. It has more gingerbread flavor. This one only have the ginger if you get the piece, mostly. Other than that, the taste is pretty plain. Yeah. But when you get one of those pieces, it's much gingerbread, and it is not good. Well, here is some pieces in this one too. Do we have a piece of one? Yeah, I think so. Or some lid. Hmm, <laughs> <laughs> toffee. It's not overwhelming gingerbread cookie. It's a smooth, smooth. Mm. So, in this case, <coughs> Otto wins. Yeah. Big time. Big time. Two left, two left. Let's get the last one with spoons. This is a yogurt. Guess what the flavor is? Mint. <laughs> <laughs> I wish, no gingerbread. <laughs> yeah, no, I... Is there something like too much gingerbread? Mm, this is a new, new, new. Like the ice cream, this is new to, for this year too. Because we only had um, like the feel. Yeah. Uh, sour milk, you could say something. You had a dictionary. Mm, okay, then. Should I pour up some? Yeah. It has a little bit beige-ish color to it. Someday we probably should look up words before we record, right? Maybe that, yeah. yeah I said sour milk, it's precisely what it is. <laughs> well then, it's sour milk. And this is taste of vanilla and gingerbread. Yeah. Well, it has those black little speckles of the, the vanilla. Mm. And the sour milk has been around for years. Yeah. Years. This is new. And I have a colleague and he said it was pretty good. I mean, it smells vanilla, it doesn't smell, it doesn't smell ginger. Yeah. I have a question. Where is the ginger bread? Yeah, where is the ginger? <laughs> well, it has something more, more to it than just plain vanilla, but... Mm, there is some little hint of something, but I can't, I can't it, distinguish it. No, it's, it's not much. It's more vanilla flavor than anything, I would say. And you should have the cinnamon, the cardamom, the... No, I can feel something The ginger. More. But it, it's nothing strong. I'm not, did you take it? No, maybe I not. mean, I'm gonna give it a try and see what you got. Hang and relax for the shaking cam. 
The often tastes like a scuffle ginger. Yeah. Well, it... I mean, the flavor didn't change, so. No, it's. I mean, no, it's still the same. Yeah. At least there are no bits in it. Yeah, that, that helps for it not to be that overwhelmed. You wish. It's vanilla. It's, it's gonna be breakfast for a few days. So. Yeah, it's not bad, not bad, no. but not not gingerbread. No, and definitely not the Christmas soda. So I think we have mentioned Yilmus a few times. Yeah, we have, we have. Mm. We had it in the cola test, but we didn't have it in. Yeah. Well, the the, the new Christmas drink cola test. Um. Uh, then we have a drink in Sweden called Trocadero and that consists of uh, apple juice and... Um, orange juice? Yeah, orange and apple juice carbonated. And I think that's a very weird combination as, as in, it is. In itself, yeah. And now they took it one step further and with the orange and the apple juice they mixed in the Christmas soda ingredients. So this is, this is apple juice and orange juice and the spices that make up and the way you produce the Christmas soda. Well, this can only go wrong, if you ask me. I mean, yeah. I have very low expectations, expectations for this one. I mean, it has the right color at least. Yeah, well, does it smell something? I mean, you can smell that there is more than just the Christmas soda. Yeah, but still it doesn't smell bad. I mean, it's not bad. No. I mean, it's like a, it's like a Julmust. I'm gonna change the Julmust, not the Christmas soda anymore. Yeah. It's like a Julmust had had some more um, fruitiness into it. Yeah. I don't enjoy it. We have big bottles. My work. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's more refreshing than the regular one. Yeah, it's a, it's a, the other one is just cola flavor, but this is really refreshing. Will it uh, take a new place on the Christmas table? No, it will not. But no, nothing can beat an old tradition. No. But if you're on the run and hunting for something, it's a good substitution. Yeah, well, it's an okay one. I think it's the best of the day. I'm just looking what we have, but yeah, she's right. <laughs> well, I mean, it's this one, the... Otto ice cream and the, the chips. I mean, this, this, yeah, um, it was, it, 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 yeah, well, well, it, 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 was it, 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 it didn't have the ginger taste, so. no. And the chips I ate it before, so they, yeah, this doesn't really count. Yeah, and if you want the uh, cheaper mouthwash, <laughs> who probably doesn't work like mouth, mouthwash, you know where to go. <laughs> <laughs> well, not to drag this video out too long and, um, we will see you in the next one, I guess. Yeah, I guess and, so. And um, sorry for not having a video out last week, but um, you will have a, a special video next week. Yeah. A second one. An extra for the Christmas. Yeah. Now go and join our uh, Sheila Claus calendar and laugh at our reactions a lot. I don't know. I hope. I don't know if it's going to be today. Yeah, <laughs> I, I'm, I'm always scared right now. Yeah. Everything is scary. <laughs> at least nothing here was hot. No. So leave it at. So hit the hit, subscribe, comment, like, send it to your friends. Laugh a bit. <laughs> something like that, yeah. <laughs> and we will see you next week or yeah, tomorrow actually. For well, the, yeah, yeah, for the, the, for yeah. the Chile Claus calendar, yeah, yeah. But the, well, this, this is too much. So I think it's. Yeah, it's been a long episode, so. Yeah. Bye. bye! Oh, it's time for a fika. We forgot to say that. It's time for a fika. Yeah. Bye bye! <laughs>